great sharp tooth flying grabber get them? In one bite. And just like that, they're gone. Whoa. It true. You saw this yourself? Oh, no. Me no see. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who met Flyer, who no other leaf eater who saw it. I thought we were telling scary stories. Oh, I know a scary story from the mysterious beyond. Hmm? I was told sharp teeth tell their kids this story to scare them. Something mysterious lurks in the darkest, dark caves of the mysterious beyond. Whoa. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Something mysterious lurks in the mysterious beyond. There, in those dark caves, lives a mysterious, spooky creature. They call him the Hidden Runner. Whoa. <sighs> and? And then the Hidden Runner waits till it's night. Dark at night. When you're asleep, he sneaks up to your sleeping place, and before you wake up, he eats you! <gasps> <sighs> so we watch for Hidden Runner? what do he look like? That's the problem. No one's ever gotten a good look at him. No one? Why not? <sighs> because he's hidden. More than that, sometimes he's invisible! <gasps> What's invisible? It means he can't be seen. If he is invisible, how do you know he is there? Oh, you know. Right before he eats you, they say he lets out a noisy, horrible yell. Ow! 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 If he invisible, maybe he here right now, but we not know. That's impossible. <gasps> Isn't it? Maybe not. Whenever you think you see something, but nothing's there, maybe whatever was there you didn't see was the hidden runner. That could be him right over your shoulder. <laughs> Look back! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because you know see Invisible Runner not mean Invisible Runner not there. It's just a story, Petrie. Nothing to be scared of. Ah! Ah! Hidden Runner? Little Foot. Little Foot. Sleeping time, little ones. Oh. <laughs> okay, Grandma. <sighs> no time for more scary stories tonight. <laughs> like we were scared by that story. Um, Ruby? Can I stay with you tonight? I'm not scared, but... Here alone. Yep, yep, yep. It is nice under the bright circle. Hmm. That is not what usually happens. No, no, no. Spike? Hmm? Hello?
too? Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> we all had scary sleep stories. Not all of us. Hidden Runner did not come to visit your sleep story? How could he? Three horns don't have sleep stories. Remember, a sleep story about Hidden Runner only happens when you're asleep. And sleep stories can't hurt you in the first place. Maybe sleep stories not hurt you, but Hidden Runner might. Maybe you only see Hidden Runner in sleep stories, but me see Hidden Runner here with own eyes. But you can't see something that doesn't exist, even if it's invisible. Okay, Petrie, then what did this invisible runner look like? Like... like... nothing! Huh. Petrie, I know everything I know about Hidden Runner is a story. I know I even made parts of it up. Just because you make story up not mean story not true. <laughs> true. But you know who knows closer to everything than me? Mr. Thick knows. I bet he knows that nobody knows this is a true story. And now they're having scary sleep stories about Hidden Runner. No! Me see Hidden Runner! For real! So please tell them the story about Hidden Runner is just a story. So, Hidden Runner is back, eh? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hidden Runner back? <gasps> but he can't be back if he was never here, because he's imaginary. Oh, no. Hidden Runner's no story. He's not? He's been around for generations, since I was a hatchling, even. You were a hatchling? He goes from place to place, but never stays long enough for anyone to get a good look at him. But sometimes, he comes back. <laughs> Sometime now? Must be, but this time. This time, I'm going to see him for myself. Last time, Hidden Runner was spotted at the dark caves on the hill. About a two-day walk. You're going to look for an imaginary creature? Correction. I'm going to look for an invisible creature. I might not get the chance again. When opportunity comes along, you have to take it. I have to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I have to go adventuring while Hidden Runner's back. This is my opportunity to see a thing that's hard to see. It might not come again for me, I have to go. But is it true he cannot be seen? He's really real or really mean? You'll never know unless you go. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing you know that you are going to have to do. I would like to see Hidden Runner with my own eyes. Which is the only way I can see it. Y you tell us Hidden Runner not real. But then, why were you so scared to did? Because me, me. Thing no have to be real to scare me. I want to see if there's really anything to be scared of. If you're going, I'm going. Why? You don't even believe any of it. But it sounds like such a nice, relaxing trip to the woods. You can all come if you like. Just ask your parents before we go. Now, 
Now stay on the lookout for his footprints. They will be big. Oh, me afraid he say that. And far apart. And that too. Seeing Hidden Runner is probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What if Hidden Runner eat us? Then it'll definitely be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You hatchlings worry too much. There's nothing to be scared of in these woods. What about these woods? Just the kind of woods Hidden Runner likes. I once heard Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars themselves. Nobody ever saw for sure. I was just a little older than you kids. Did he just say the Hidden Runner scared away the tree stars? I could be like Sarah and not have sleep stories. Being scared is for scaredy eggs. At. Were you having sleep? No. You woke me up is all. <sighs> Did you sleep okay, Sarah? You sure look tired. So what if I'm tired? It's not like I was having scary sleep stories. Because three... Three horns don't, don't have sleep stories. Three. Well, we don't. <coughs> what was that? Hidden Runner, we're getting close. is 
is a mystery. We hope it not come after me. But I would really like to see the hidden runner. Kids, just follow me now through the trees. I think we're close. Must we be close? Don't get scared on me now. It's okay. Just try and be brave. I'm always brave. Hidden, hidden runner. The very hidden, hidden runner. To see it, we will have to try. I wonder if it might be shy. I know I won't be frightened by the hidden runner. We no find clues, we no find hidden runner. I found something. <gasps> or maybe not. These branches have been bitten just the way hidden runner bites. And look, footprints. Let's go. Go inside. We won't find Hidden Runner if we don't look for him. It can't be that you're scared, right, Sarah? Hmm. Me scared! Me wait outside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, me go! Is he? Maybe he's nowhere because there's no such thing as Hidden Runner. <laughs> hidden Runner. <laughs> what is that? It must be him. All my life I've wanted to see him up close. And now, almost. <laughs> Runner, wait! <sighs> I missed him. No one's ever been that close to Hidden Runner. Then that is something, is it not? Hmm. Maybe we can still catch him. Mr. Thicknose, we have to find Sarah first. Uh, uh, <sighs> Sarah! Safe to come out. Hidden runner far away. Me hope. Hmm. Where would Sarah go if she wanted to be somewhere that's not here? I was so close. I'm sorry, Mr. Thicknose. Sarah! Sarah! It's my fault you didn't get to see Hidden Runner. Now you know. I'm a big scaredy egg. I have scary sleep stories and everything. You could have just told us. Then we would have known. We're still your friends. But three horns are supposed to be brave. Being afraid doesn't mean you can't be brave, too. It doesn't? True bravery is to admit you're afraid and face your fear anyway, like your friends. Even after they admitted being afraid, they still came to find Hidden Runner. And they're braver than I am. I just took one look at Hidden Runner's shadow and ran... <gasps> Whoa! He's really real. And I'm looking right at him. <gasps> I can't believe it. A story I made up wasn't a made-up story. Look at him. He has many different colors. <laughs> I can't believe I almost let fear keep me from seeing this. Me not believe me not flying away. <gasps> uh, 
Hi, I'm Sarah. <gasps> he disappeared. He doesn't disappear. He blends in. Look, he's still there. But his funny colored body acts as some sort of disguise. Hidden Runner not invisible? He only looked that way. Uh, maybe whoever first made up my story saw him disappear, but didn't understand how he disappeared. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks for taking us to see Hidden Runner, Mr. Thicknose. I could never have imagined something like that. I thought I did imagine it. It did not look at all like what I imagined in my sleep story. No, no, no. I'm just glad we all got to see it. <laughs> and to think, the Hidden Runner was more scared of us than we were of it. <laughs> That's right. It's not anything you kids need to be scared of. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something for Petrie to be scared of. No, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Want to. 
Huh? Mm -hmm. Not want to play? Who is this rat guy? I am Rhett. <laughs> well, I'm Sarah, and this is Littlefoot. We're Allie's old friends. Tell them. Um, Rhett is very brave, but he won't play with kids he doesn't know. That doesn't sound very brave. Oh, yeah, Little Nick. My name is Little Foot. Well, I'm Rhett the Brave. Hero of the Herd, scarer of the sharp teeth. Hero of the Herd? <clears throat> scarer of the sharp teeth? The ones we've seen aren't scared of flying rocks, earth shakes, or smoking mountains. Let alone little long necks. Well, they're scared of me. Tell them all about your adventures, Rhett. Well, while you kids have been living here safe all the time, I've been in the mysterious beyond protecting my herd. Stay back! I'll handle this! scared of those flying rocks. Now, another time, the herd was being chased. Go on without me. I won't let them hurt you. That was a close one. <laughs> That's some tail. I know. And then there was the time I used my tail to build a mountain of rocks that the shark teeth couldn't climb. No food for you! You're safe now. Let's go. And you haven't heard anything yet. I think we've heard enough. We've heard plenty. So, Allie, were you with Rhett when any of this stuff happened? Um, no. That happened before our herds joined up. And you really believe that he built a mountain of rocks with his tail? While being chased by sharp teeth? Oh, well, that mountain of rocks was mostly built. But I did finish the top. See? He finished the top! Of a mountain? That's pretty hard to believe. You're just mad because you can't knock down trees with your tail. Come on, Sarah. I guess we're just not brave enough to play with Allie anymore. <laughs> Want to play rescue? Um, okay. I can't believe Allie believes those crazy stories. We were her friends. Hmm. Well, it's not fair. He can't be her best friend. I don't care. The stories he's telling are phony. He built a mountain with his tail. Oh, 
Rhett brave. Me want to meet him. No, Petrie. Rhett's making stuff up and has convinced Allie he's telling the truth. Allie thinks he's so brave, and he's not. It makes me so mad. I'm angry, too. Well, the longer you're mad, the less you're happy. So what we do? I don't know, Petrie. But we gotta find a way to show Allie the truth. Yeah. I guess I could just try telling Allie that Red is making stuff up again. But what if she does not believe you again? What if Red hit you with tail? <laughs> We need to show Allie that Rhett's not as brave as he says. Yeah, I'd like to see what Rhett would do if a real sharp tooth came around. Hmm. Wait, what if we really did have him face a real sharp tooth? You want to bring a real sharp tooth into the Great Valley? Uh, I don't know if that plan's such a good plan. My plan is to use a sharp tooth that's already here. <laughs> There's sharp tooth in Great Valley. Ooh. Yep, and he's right here. You mean me? But Chomper is nice. He is, he is. We know Chomper's nice, but you don't know that until you know him. And Allie and Rhett have never met Chomper. Right! Now, here's how it'll work. Ah! Chomper will chase us around, pretending he's a vicious sharp tooth. <laughs> then Littlefoot shows up and asks Rhett to help him save everyone. Grr, grr. But when Rhett gets scared, Allie will see he's been making up all of those stories. See? If we all pretend right, it'll work. I can pretend to be scared in. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me good at being scared. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Come on. On, Littlefoot, it's a great plan. What can possibly go wrong? What do you think, Chomper? It sounds kind of fun to me. As long as nobody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. We're all just going to be pretending. Then it sounds like I'll be pretending to have friends for dinner. For dinner, pretend to have friends for dinner. We'll say he wants three horn soup and little foot stew. It might be funny when he chew on you. Mm -hmm. That's not a very nice thing to do. To have friends for dinner, <laughs> friends for dinner. Don't want to be friends for dinner. Don't want to be spike up. Littlefoot, what do you say now? It probably would show Allie that Red's not so brave. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Ready? And go! Come on, guys, you're supposed to be scared. And you're supposed to be scary. Guys, <gasps> <laughs> 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 be serious. Start. 
start again. Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared-ed. We need help to be saved! <laughs> Perfect! Now rush in and stand right next to me, little foot. Let's try it one more time. Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared than it! We need help to be saved! what red is really like. Come on, let's play rescue. Again? Could we play tag instead? Or the pointy seat game? Or swimmer splasher? Rescue it is! Start yelling help! Ah! <gasps> you sound different. That wasn't me! That was someone who really needs help! Rescue them, Red! Help! Ah! He hungry! Me scared! And I am even more scared than it! We need help to be safe! <laughs> Who's chasing you? Who, who, who's hungry? He is! <laughs> Yourself. Oh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> um, what's going on? <laughs> we wanted to show you that Rhett wasn't as brave as he said he was, so I came up with this plan. But that shark tooth, where did he come from? Oh, sorry, Allie. Meet Chomper. Hi, Allie. Sorry if I scared you. You're friends with a sharp tooth? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Chomper and Ruby live in the secret caverns. It's kind of a long story. But one thing's for sure. We are not afraid to play with Chomper. So what do you think? Do you want to play with us? Well, sure. I guess Red isn't as brave as he says he is. Where'd he go, anyway? Th th there he is! We must drive that vicious sharp tooth out of the Great Valley! <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> 
Okay, let's go. <gasps> Talking sharp tooth? I've never heard of such a thing. The sharp this tooth can't be that that me. He's a sharp tooth. Who cares if he talks? Let's get rid of him. <gasps> I suppose we must. Old one, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing you. You were calling for help. They wanted to show me that all of Rhett's stories were made up. Stories? What stories? Um. He kept telling me that he saved his herd from many sharp teeth before we met them. Rhett, come forward. Uh, yes. Did you make up stories to fool these children? Um, um, uh, um. It's okay, Rhett. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Little ones, this is very serious. Did you see what happened when you tried to fool each other? Yes, I guess so. You may have wanted it to be a joke, but a sharp tooth attack is no laughing matter. We're all really sorry, old one. And as for you... Uh, yes? I don't know how you became friends with so many here in the Great Valley, but I think it's good. Longnecks, follow me! <laughs> we can play now. We can. We can. Me not it if we play tag. I'm too tired to be it. Hey, Rhett. Want to play tag? But I made up all my adventures. It doesn't mean we can't all have new adventures. Come on, Rhett. What are you waiting for? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. Okay, Spike, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> I found it the other day. Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe Ruby, Spike, and Sarah aren't here to see this. Yeah, me no believe they go to mud pools and not come with us. Come on! I saw them go this way. That sounds like hip. Ugh, me go now. Me no like hip. No, Petrie. This way. Hey, wait for me. Hey, guys, who's hip? And why are we running from him? Hip and his friends Mutt and Nod are the biggest troublemakers in the Great Valley. They can sometimes be very mean. They can, they can. 
They're in here somewhere. I hear them. You do not want to step on any of the eggs. Eggs? What eggs? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall. Uh, guys, those aren't just eggs. They're fast spider eggs. Fast spiders? They're sharp tooth eggs? Smash them! You can't do that! Don't touch no, them! No, no, no! We found the eggs, so we get to decide what to do with them. <laughs> what makes you think that what's in those eggs won't no. eat you? They haven't hatched yet. But we can't let sharp teeth eggs hatch near the Great Valley. It's too dangerous. Then let's move them as far from the Great Valley as we can. But we cannot take the eggs away from their mommy. No, no, no. What if eggs' mommy come looking for them? I know. We can get the fast spider mom to run after Petrie here, then the rest of us will scram. <laughs> <laughs> That is a very mean idea, Hip. It is. It is. What? He can fly, can't he? Wait. Hip might be onto something. Oh, no. I am? Listen. A mom would always follow her eggs, right? So we can use the eggs to lure the mom away from the Great Valley. Make sharp tooth chases? On purpose? You gotta be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Hip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that sharp tooth mom's gonna chase you wherever you take those eggs! That's the idea. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But you guys have fun! <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna move these eggs, we need everyone's help. If you do not help, these sharp teeth could hurt someone in the Great Valley. Maybe even you. Do you really want to take that chance? Ah, where's my egg? We need to hide the eggs in a place just like this. There's a cave in that big mountain that should work. Okay, we'll take the eggs there. But that's really far away. That is probably a good thing. Ah! It moved! Is the egg hatching now? Not yet, but we don't have much time before they do. Shark tooth! It's probably the mom coming for her eggs. She sounds like she's really close. Then we better get going. Come on. She was close! Is that her? Is that the egg's mom? That's the mom, all right. And she wants her eggs back! Okay. Hip and I will distract her. 
The rest of you, head for the lake past the trees. We'll meet there. <laughs> Come on, Hip, let's go. Hey, over here. Look what we've got. Go, run for the trees. To look back, follow me, and do not let go of the eggs. It would be very, very bad if they break. Well, I'm not sure this idea is a good one. What if that fast spider mom were to catch us? Why don't we leave the eggs right here and run? We are too close to home to leave them here. If they should hatch, they might find a way back to the cave. We must be brave and move these eggs. Or are you scared? Scared? I'm not scared. You scared much? Well, maybe. I mean, no, I'm not scared. Right. Then let's move these eggs. I hope Littlefoot and Hip are okay. Great idea. We're trapped. Now what are we going to do? I'll think of something. Yeah, just like you thought we should run down this canyon. Be quiet, Hip. I need to think. Here's a thought. We dump the egg and get out of here. We're not leaving the egg. <laughs> oh, yeah? Distracted her. Now's my chance. Ah! No! Stay away! Ah! No! Stay away! It just 
just took a little teamwork. That's all. Well, we better keep this team moving. If we break into three groups, she'll have a harder time following us. It's someone else's turn to be sharp tooth bait. I'm through. Head for the canyon, past the gray meadow. Uh, you guys can lure the sharp tooth next. Good idea. We will see you at the canyon. Good luck, Chomper. Don't worry, little foot. We'll be okay. I know how sharp teeth think. It'll be fastest if we go straight across the water. Ready, Mutt? <laughs> It'll be okay. We just need something for the egg to float on. Uh, oh, we'll need something for me to float on, too. What do you mean? I'm, uh, not a very good swimmer. That's okay. I'm not the best swimmer either. Now, let's see. That should work. If you hold on to the edge and kick, you'll be okay. Like me, see? Hey, Chomper! Oh, wait for me! I'm coming! <laughs> Oh no! The egg! I, I got it! Good job, partner! Yeah! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Now we have to make sure the fast fighter mom follows us! Maybe she can't swim either. I'll get her attention. move sharp tooth eggs it's crazy it's the right thing to do and it's helping the great valley ha we wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have listened to me instead of that sharp tooth why would i listen to you chomper might be a sharp tooth but he's my friend uh little foot and he's a lot nicer than you all you ever think about is what you want to do little foot the egg huh
She's right behind us! She coming! She coming! Wait for us! <laughs> We're trapped! <laughs> each other's backs, Chomper and I can hand the eggs up to Ducky. Couldn't carry this egg alone, could I? We're almost there. The cave I was talking about should be right across this meadow. Oh, not her again! She never gives up! Oh, she loves her eggs. She does. Enough she does. talking. Run! This is it. Over here, everyone. She won't see us here. in there. And they don't look that scary. <laughs> Most babies don't. Uh... <laughs> now they have their mommy. They do, they do. Maybe we did do the right thing. Yep. And now no one in the Great Valley has to worry about them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We went adventuring and moved those sharp tooth eggs. To see them hatch was such a treat. Who would have thought they'd look so sweet? Just remember what they eat. 
Come on, let's go. We did what we set out to do. Yeah, sure. And to think, you guys wanted to just get rid of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs>